Ahead of a storm, it's good to have a plan if the power does go out. The American Red Cross has some tips so you can get by when the lights go out. Jordan Fremstead shows us what to do. I'm not sure if you've seen the news lately, but severe weather can cause a lot of issues for people. Here we go. We are talking about a home in shambles and vehicles destroyed this morning. Obviously, the potential's there. For most people, it's power outages that pose a frustrating issue, especially when they last a few days. But preparation usually helps. For starters, make sure you have working flashlights. The American Red Cross says to avoid using candles. You could be facing broken gas lines, and you certainly don't want to introduce an open flame to a leaking gas line. You should also unplug any appliances that you have so that a power surge doesn't damage your equipment. I actually had a, a lightning strike one time that took out a, a Apple computer that I had. It's also okay to leave one light switch on. That way, when the power does come back on, you'll know. Make sure you use the perishable food in your fridge first. You'll know it's safe if it's below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Then make your way to the food in the freezer. We encourage people always have a plan in place before an emergency happens. This is a lot to remember, but the American Red Cross does have some resources you can check out. They have an app you can download right to your phone. It is free. It's got all the latest emergency information and tips for you and your family. In Oklahoma City, I'm Jordan Fremstead, Oklahoma Zone News 9.